It's a career that spanned 32 years, three months, and 14 days. And today, one of BC's best broadcasters is saying goodbye. The early news. Here is Deborah Hope. Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us. It she just took off. She was a great reporter, and she rose through the ranks and became, well, what she is today. And she's had a, an amazing career. I always thought there was nothing that, that Deb couldn't do. She burst out of the gate as a young reporter for BCTV in 1981. Breaking stories, she traveled all over the province. And the world traveling to China in 1991. This stop was not on our official itinerary. Our guide was very reluctant to bring us here, but when we insisted, he relented. Because this is Tiananmen Square. And what's going on here today is so ordinary. It's really hard to conjure up the extraordinary events of June 4th. <laughs> Deb also has the rare skill of capturing life's special moments on camera and turning it into TV magic, like the time she recorded a little girl hearing for the first time. This technology works well, but it doesn't always work. Some children never learn to speak. And most kids cry when they hear for the first time. They're confused and scared. They don't know what sound is. What will Janelle do? It's just going to come on in a second. It's on now. Oh! 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 And the look on this child's face, and it was just one of those magical moments in television that are so rare. And Deb and her camera, who worked with her on that story, had the foresight to grab it and put it on television and just let it speak for itself. And that's another thing about Deb. She never was in front of her story as Deb. She always let the story come first. Right now, the new news hour with Deborah Hope. Deb was promoted to the anchor desk only a couple of years into her career at Global, and that's where she's been for 30 years and thousands of memories. Could be all over by the time the new news hour. <laughs> Easy Could be for her to for say. Her. She's a superb interviewer, great on air presenter, and really one of the most genuine people you're going to meet in the media anywhere in the world. But honestly, Seriously, <laughs> not much of a sumo wrestler. No, because it was big, fat, round. <laughs> Help me! Help me! And then there were the pet segments. Oh, we got one. Oh, my God! It's all right, well, we're fine. 30 okay. seconds. We're right, sure. nice he's a handsome boy, television. don't you think? Studio, and he's doing pretty well. I yeah, think. Eileen's not doing too well. I'll tell you. <laughs> Eileen's oh. a little nervous. She remembers what happens with, uh, what happened with that cat. Well, it's even worse for people on the news, especially when it's live. Take a look now at some of the tapes our affiliate news team sent us. They have to be vaccinated. They need a booster every year. And oh, I think, oh, oh my she, goodness, she just threw up on She air. is ill. <laughs> and then there's the signature Deb Hope laugh. <laughs> oh. The Variety Club Show of Hearts in Studio One. Deb is just as passionate when she's not at work. She's involved with dozens of charities and, of course, singing with her fireworks quartet. Deb, you are unforgettable and you will be missed. Unforgettable, that's what you are.